What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin brusher video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a 10 million dollar buy-in and they only gave us five quarters so we paid two million dollars for each quarter today. So anyhow let's put those quarters on the right hand side. I feel like we'll get a good push. Come on big money. Oh yeah come on. Oh my goodness, well we got like probably five or six quarters back. Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got six quarters back out of the five I just put in there. So let's keep on pushing on that right hand side. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, that quarter tower in the center, it's already starting to go, sweet. Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got about 35 quarters now. This is doing amazing. So let's keep it pushing across the whole field. I'd like to try to get this quarter tower right here in the center to go. Oh yeah, that was a spectacular push right there. Yeah, these one quarter challenges and five quarter challenges are super, super risky. But if you can get them to get going, they normally pay out pretty well. Normally you can make a massive profit at these. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, sweet. We got that quarter tower in the center. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So we got about 255 quarters now. Just doing amazing. Nice, that quarter tower on the left corner is going. Nice, same thing for the one on the right side. Sweet. And these two gigantic quarter towers, those are getting severely close to the edge also. It's pushing really, really well. They got it loaded up fantastically well today. Looks like a gigantic spiral tower of chips back there on the pusher. Bottom layer of them are $10,000 chips, and the top layer of those are $5,000 chips. And on the blue shelves, they got like two quarter towers. Oh my goodness, wow, we got that quarter tower to go already. That is outstanding. So on the blue shelves, they got like two smaller quarter towers, a whole bunch of gold towers, $5,000 chip towers, $25,000 chip towers, and $10,000 chip towers. Well, we pretty much demolished all those quarter towers already. Check that out. That big old tower's losing $10,000 chips at the base of it. It's a good sign right there. That means it's about to crash down. Anyhow, let's go round up those quarters, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So we got about 850 quarters now. This is doing exceptional so far today. Nice. We're still getting a whole bunch of quarters right there in the center. Those uh, $10,000 chips, those are making their way towards the edge. Oh yeah, got a whole bunch of quarters on that one. Oh my goodness, wow, we got that enormous tower to crash down, sweet. That was a whole bunch of $5,000 chips. And check that out, there was two mystery bags hidden inside that tower. Looks like a blue mystery bag and a pink mystery bag. That is amazing. Wow, I was not expecting that tower to crash down that quick. My goodness, it's raining $10,000 chips out of there. Holy macaroni, this is doing exceptional. So hit that like button if you enjoyed that tower crashing down. I really enjoyed it. Nice, we got that blue mystery bag. The pink one's about to go. Nice, we got it. And a whole bunch more $10,000 chips. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get that loot chute emptied out real quick. It's getting a little bit full. All right, there we go. We got that loot chute cleared out. And uh, sometimes if that loot chute gets too full, uh, whatever's down there will start to fall like inside the machine. Because if you don't know this, there's a little opening area right up above the loot chute. And once the loot chute starts to ball over, Sometimes money will fall down inside the machine and it would go into the loot box that's inside the machine and that money goes to the house. It goes to the exact same location as those side slots on the sides go. See these? That money goes to the house also. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. However, sometimes they will have a $50 chip in there and if I win the $50 chip, I get to cash it in at the end of the game and they'll take everything that we've lost to them gutters and they'll put it back into the play field and like build it into a brand new tower or something. Or they could just like scatter it across the play field. Well, this is pushing really, really well. We just about got the whole entire machine cleared out already. This is doing exceptional today. 
So I'm just trying to get these remaining $10,000 tips out of here. Then I'll check out both of those mystery bags. So stay tuned for that. And you're welcome to leave a guess down in the comments. And let me know what you think might be inside of those mystery bags. Really, really hoping it's some dice and maybe some of those special chips. So pretty much what I mean by the special chips, there could be a $5 chip, a the $50 chip, or a $10 chip, or the $1 chips in there. So pretty much the $1 chips, those would be worth like 500 three quarters for each one of them. And the $5 chip, I'd get to cash that in. They'd take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put it into the play field. And the $10 chip, that would be worth one free tower. I would get to cash it in and they'd let me spin a wheel, whatever the wheel lands on. That's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So hopefully those Mr. Bags have those special chips in there. I mean, they're normally in there, especially on buy-ins this large. Yeah, I can't believe this all started with just five quarters. I was expecting this game to be super, super difficult, but I mean, it's pushing really, really well. And uh, most of the time, like, whenever I do the one quarter challenges or the five quarter challenges, I always lose a lot of money. I mean, this is a little bit embarrassing to say, but here a while back, maybe about, I'm going to say it was less than a month ago, maybe like three weeks ago or something. I did a half a billion dollar buy-in. Well, the original buy-in started off at like 10 million and I bought in 50 times on a one quarter challenge and I lost half a billion dollars. So I just kept on doing buy-in after buy-in. I mean, that's the reality of playing these machines. You can't always make a profit. And a lot of times it's very, very difficult to get the quarters to get going and stuff. You can lose a whole bunch of money. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely remarkable. This game is going marvelous so far. So anyhow, let's go ahead and see how much money we've won. Round up the quarters and open up those mystery bags. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and check out these mystery bags. Which one should I start with? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the blue mystery bag first. So let's go ahead and check it out. See if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Feels really, really heavy, so let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got 20 grand in chips, and we also got four more dice. Well, these are the first dice that I've won today. So we got like two of the gold dice and two of the white dice. The white dice, I get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. And the gold dice, I get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by those numbers. So anyhow, let's go ahead and check out this pink mystery bag right here. This one feels like it's loaded up just as good, if not better. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got the $50 chip, the $5 chip, the $10 chip, and three $1 chips. So like I said, each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So I get to cash all three of these in, they'll give me an extra 1,500 quarters. And the $5 chip, I get to cash that in, they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves and they'll put it into the play field. And the $50 chip, I get to cash this in at the end of the game. They'll take anything that's fallen down them side slots and they'll put it back into the play field somewhere. And the $10 chip, this is worth one free tower. I get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So anyhow, it's not bad, not bad at all. Both of those Mr. Bags were loaded up insanely well. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in the $10 chip and all three of the $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip and all three of the $1 chips. They gave me an extra 1,500 quarters, and I got to spin that wheel. And today it landed on $5,000 chips. And as you can see, they built like five gigantic towers of $5,000 chips in the play field. Four of the towers are like on the corner areas so those might take a little bit to crash down you never know i mean if you've seen older videos y'all know the towers on the side sometimes take hours up on hours to crash down and there's been several times i played for up to like eight hours trying to get the towers on the sides to crash down but here lately i've been using the skill stop button a bunch of you all suggested the skill stop technique down in the comments where i load up a whole bunch of quarters at once kind of like this right here 
and it really really speeds up the process of winning those towers that are on the corner it's like before when i was only putting two or three or four dollars in there at a time it would take anywhere from three to eight hours to get the towers on the corners to crash down but ever since i started loading this thing up using that skill stop button putting a whole bunch of quarters in there at once that's cut that down a lot anywhere from 30 minutes to three hours so it's a total game changer and once again thank you all so much for suggesting this technique i truly appreciate it yeah this saves a lot of time i mean it uses up a bunch of your quarters a lot faster but i mean it's always worth it if you can get the towers to crash down so anyhow there's so many towers on the blue shelves today there's quite a few twenty-five thousand dollar chip towers also you see those brown chips oh my goodness well power on the pusher just fell backwards so there's actually multiple ways I could win all those towers that are on the blue shelves today we got that five dollar chip so I'll get to cash that in they'll move all them towers to the play field for free and some days they'll have a red earbud in there and that literally means the exact same thing as the five dollar chip but say the five dollar chip or the red earbud was not in there then it would cost me two times the original buy-in to get them to move all them towers to the play field. So today that would be 20 million to get the blue shelves cleared off and that would be a 30 million dollar buying in total. Which I mean, either way, even if we did have to pay that two times buy-in, I mean, it'd still be worth it. There should be enough in there to make quite a bit of money, I'd say. Oh yeah, about to get a boatload of 5,000 dollar chips in the center. Nice, that was a brilliant push right there. Oh yeah, bunch more on the edge about ready to go. All right, let's load this thing up with quarters again. Let's put like maybe six or seven hundred in there at once. See what happens. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying the content, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Help out tremendously. We're on the road to 135,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 15th of October this month right here. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also let's try to get uh, 5,000 likes on this episode right here. 5,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need everybody watching to hit that like button. I tell you what, if this video can get 5,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded to YouTube, tomorrow I will do a $50 million buy-in with another one-quarter challenge or a thousand-quarter challenge. And I haven't done a thousand quarters at once video in a little while. Would y'all want to see one of those? I mean, I try not to do them too often because they might start to get boring or something. But anyhow, just let me know what types of videos you'd want to see. So anyhow, that right there is the last of our quarters. So let's go round up those quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AV Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using that skill stop button. Let's try to put at least, you know what, let's put a thousand quarters in there at once. I haven't tried a thousand quarters at once in a very, very long time. So the quarters are going to be stacking up the wall back there like they're going to build all the way up there. So pretty cool to watch all those quarters crash down after you release that skill stop button so let's go ahead and load this thing up that right there was probably i'm going to say around 400 at once now that's probably about 500 so yeah let's just put this entire bowl of quarters in there at one time and see what happens so anyway getting back to talking about what i was saying a couple seconds ago about subscribing and stuff also if we can get 10,000 likes in a day i haven't been able to do that yet but if this video can somehow get 10,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded to YouTube, tomorrow I will do a half a billion dollar buy-in. That'll make the biggest buy-in I've ever done before. So, yeah, get me to 10,000 likes on this episode right here, and I will do that half a billion dollar buy-in. And if I could somehow get 20,000 likes in a day, then I would do a $1 billion buy-in. That's what it's going to take to do a $1 billion buy-in. 20,000 likes in a day. Oh my goodness. Well, there's so many towers on the edge. Nice. We got that one on the right-hand side to go. That's what I'm talking about. 
this great big old tower here on the left side, it's about ready to crash down also. Nice, there it goes. Any moment now, just keep a close eye on it. Nice, we got it. Wow, that was a boatload of chips we just got. A whole bunch of $5,000 chips. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid any money when y'all hit the like button or hit the subscribe button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a lot easier for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because uh, once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you'll get notified on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you're watching my videos on, you'll get notified every single time I post a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any phenomenal content. Nice, we got that tower on the left. Really, really trying to focus on that right-hand side, try to get that tower to go. Now we're almost out of quarters. My goodness, we got a whole bunch of quarters built up right there in the center and on that left side. Check that out. Whole bunch of quarters. All right, well, that right there was the last of the quarters. That's all I had left in the basket. So, tell you what, let's try one more round, and if we don't get that tower and those remaining chips on the left, I'll probably go ahead and cash in the $5 chip. So let's go retrieve the quarters. We'll get right back to work. Alrighty, AMB Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's keep on pushing on that right hand side. Hopefully, we can get that tower. And hopefully, we can get those remaining $5,000 chips on that left corner there. My goodness, look at all those quarters we're winning right there in the center. My goodness, I'd say we're winning probably at least 200 of them every single push. Well, probably close to 200 of them, maybe like, I don't know, 150 quarters a push or so. It's pretty much what we're averaging, I guess. Oh yeah, that tower of 5,000 all the chips on that right corner, I tell you what, it's getting really, really close to the edge. Come on, nice push, give me something. And that 10 grand on the left corner, it's about ready to go. And also, something else that I would like to talk about briefly. Uh, I know a lot of people that watch the channel don't have that notification bell turned on. So pretty much, whenever you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon that pops up right beside of it. And if you turn on that bell icon, you will receive all notifications for whenever I upload a brand new video. It says only 6% of y'all have that bell icon turned on and enabled, so... That means you're not going to get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video. So pretty much, if you want to be the first to check out brand new videos, uh, be sure you have that bell icon turned on because you'll get a pop-up on whatever device you're watching my videos on. It will say ANV Coin Busher posted a brand new video. Then it will say the title of the video, like 50 quarter challenge, 10 million dollar buy-in for example. And you can just click on it and it will take you right to that video. So. Yeah, I would highly suggest you turn on that bell icon. It's 100% free, and it's not permanent. You could turn it off at any time if you didn't want to get any more notifications. It's totally up to you. I'm just saying it'll make it easier for you all to keep up with the videos. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is remarkable. So let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, righty, AMB Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip, they took all those towers that was on the blue shelves, and they put them all into the play field. Turns out there was two mystery bags hidden in there, those uh, two mystery bags, they must have been hidden behind those uh, poker chip towers, I and mean, that's all, really the only place they could have been, so, well that's a huge surprise, I was not expecting those mystery bags to be in there. So those mystery bags are on the corners. They're already pretty close to the edge. And they put like two of the gold towers on the corners also. And they also put a whole bunch of $10,000 chips on top of those. And it looks like they took the majority of those poker chip towers and combined them all into like one great big old tower back there on the pusher. There's also two massive towers of gold back there. So they got it loaded up really, really well. So wish me good luck. Hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here pretty quick. 
Oh my goodness, well. Nice, we got that red mister bag. There's so much action going on right now. Can't really keep up with everything. We lost like two or three ounces of gold to the blue shell. So later on, whenever I cash in that $50 chip, they will move all that stuff that we lost back to the play field, so. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. Wow, we got that enormous tower to crash down, sweet. My goodness, this is doing amazing. Yeah, that was a waterfall, a thousand dollar chips. $25,000 chips, five and $10,000 chips. Winning so much gold today also, we're making a fortune. And the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I'm gonna say they're around like, I don't know, like $1,830 at the moment. Seems to me that's what the spot price of gold was worth yesterday. So if somebody can let me know the exact spot price of a one ounce gold bar today down in the comments section. I would highly appreciate that. Just uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what a one ounce gold bar is worth. It's pushing really, really well today, that's for sure. Getting tons of gold bars. Thousand dollar chips on the edge. Wow. Come on. Nice. That was a pretty decent second wave also. Oh my goodness. You see that? That gold tower. The gold bar is sliding out from the base of that tower. I don't know how all that's still hanging on there. That's insane. And this tower on the left hand side, it's about to go. And that brown mystery bag, it's still beside of that tower over there, so hopefully we can get it to go. Oh yeah, the gold bars are about to slide out from the base of that tower. Nice, we got it. Fell straight into the payout chute. That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, I'm just trying to get this mystery bag right now. Seems like it's pretty heavy. Something might be super, super massive in that mystery bag. Might be loaded up with a whole bunch of chips, gold bars. Whatever it is, it seems like it's pretty heavy because that mystery bag is not really moving too well. Come on, nice push. Oh, yeah, it's super, super close to the edge. I don't know about that tower of $10,000 chips and gold on the right. Seems like it's stuck there or something. Alright, well we're almost out of quarters. We only got a couple of them left in the basket. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Mr. Bag is so close. Right, well, let's just finish out these quarters. That right there was the last of them, so let's see. Come on, get that mystery bag in that tower. Well, the tower and the mystery bag both moved on that push right there. So anyhow, let's go retrieve the quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I'm gonna try to get this brown mystery bag right here, and I'm not gonna worry about winning that tower on the right side on this round. I'll wait to win that for whenever I cash in that $50 chip. Hopefully we can get that brown mystery bag here in just a second. I will open up that mystery bag and the red one. So, stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. Yeah, I just thought there was no point in wasting a lot of time in quarters trying to get this tower. Because whenever I cash in that $50 chip, they would either rearrange that tower or just leave it in the exact same position. So, I'll just worry about winning it on the next round. But anyhow, let's go ahead and check out both of them mystery bags. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and open up the red mystery bag first. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Uh, the brown one is definitely the heaviest, so we'll save that one for last. But anyhow, let's see what we get. Nice, check this out. We got three more white dice and two more gold dice. That is absolutely miraculous right there. So now let's move on to this brown mister bag, see if there's anything good and valuable in this one. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got a whole bunch of $25,000 chips. Let's see, that's 100 grand. Yep, so we got 100 grand and $25,000 chips. Three of the gold dice and two white dice. So I guess that explains why that mister bag wasn't really moving too good. It was loaded up really, really well. It was super, super heavy. 
it's any hot snow bad not bad at all both of those mr bags were loaded up really really well so i'm gonna go ahead and cash in that 50 dollar chip and we'll get right back to pushing all righty amb coin brochure has returned let's get right back to pushing so i cashed in that 50 dollar chip they took everything that fell down in their loot box today and they put it all back into the play field looks like they built a massive tower of gold back there on the pusher and they put a humongous basket of quarters on top of that and as you can see there's two dice at the top of that basket there check that out and that tower on the right side it's still standing there and it looks like they put all the chips that fell down their loot box like all across the play field area i mean that's fine with me as long as we can get it all cleared out of there and uh, i feel like they're taking the quarters that fall down in their loot box and they're putting the quarters in those great big old baskets and that's actually a new thing that they've been doing like before they wouldn't take any of the quarters that fell down the side slots they wouldn't put it back into the play field whenever i cash in the 50 dollar chip but now they've taken the quarters that fall down in there and they put that back into the play field also i think they just started doing that yesterday because that's when they started adding the baskets those baskets are really really cool I haven't, like i said yesterday i haven't seen those in there in probably a year so this makes like two days in a row that i've seen that basket in there come on nice push well i feel like once that gold tower crashes down back there it's going to be like the world's largest avalanche of quarters that's just my prediction oh yeah it's getting close it's getting very very close to the edge Nice, there's a whole bunch of chips on the edge about ready to go into the payout chute. Nice, that was a spectacular push right there. Anyhow, let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using that skill stop button. Alright, so that right there was probably about 600 quarters at once. So let's see what happens. Come on, nice push. Get them chips off of there. Oh my goodness, they're super, super close. Oh yeah. Nice, that was a good push on the left-hand side there. Tell you what, those two towers are gold. Once those fall off of the pusher, oh my goodness, that basket. It's like floating in midair pretty much. Wow. This is going to be intense. Come on, big money. Wow, it's super, super close. It's teetering back and forth. It's almost there. Let's keep a close eye on that basket. Oh my goodness, well it fell backwards. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to fall straight forward. And it looks like uh, we lost a dice to the blue shelf on the left. That ain't good. So I'll definitely pay an extra 100 grand to have them put that dice back into the play field. And anyhow, we're going to have to call them back here, here in a few minutes to have them get that basket out of there because... Uh, that basket there's no way it could fit down in the loot chute here so anyhow let's go retrieve the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing Alrighty, i'm back let's keep it going so let's keep it pushing right there in the center well to be honest with you we might could use that basket to our advantage to try to get that tower on the right hand side now that seems like a pretty good uh plan right there come on nice push oh yeah see that it's moving that uh tower on the right hand side can't wait to see that basket fall down to the lower shelf. It might be a waterfall of quarters. I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed that basket didn't fall straight forward like it did yesterday. But still, this might even be better. It might help us get that tower on the right. You never know. Come on. Oh my goodness, well. All right, let's see if it moves it. Come on, big money. Well, I'm definitely going to have to call him back here. Nice, we got that tower to crash down. Sweet. Well, I think we should definitely stop right there because do you see that dice on the right? It is headed straight for the gutter, and it probably would fall down the gutter since there's a lot of weight built up right there in the center. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and call him back here, have them get that basket out for me, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here and they took that great big old basket of quarters out of there. And uh, they took all those remaining chips and gold that was in the play field and they just combined them all into like one great big old tower. 
including those two dice. There was a dice about to fall down the gutter on the right. There was also a dice on the blue shelf. So typically that would cost an extra 100 grand to have them put that dice back into the play field. But they just uh, moved it today for free. So that was really, really generous of them. So hopefully we can get this massive tower to crash down. It's right there in the center. It's in a pretty good spot. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Oh yeah, tower's almost there. Another push or two and we'll win it. Nice, we got it. Got the whole entire machine cleared out today. That is absolutely outstanding. This has been a marvelous game today. Absolutely marvelous. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won 16 dice in total. We got 9 of the white dice and 7 of the gold dice. They will put all 16 of them dice back there on the pusher. We have to roll them on down to that play field area. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I called them over here. They put all 16 of them dice back there on the moving platform. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some humongous numbers today. And another thing to keep in mind, if any of the dice lands on a 1, it would be a 0. The 1s do not count at all. However, we can keep on pushing to try to flip the dice over to something else. But we can't push too much because if any of the dice fall over the edge or down the gutters, we would lose them and they would become duds. So anyhow, we got like three more dice to roll. Nice, we got a six on that gold dice. Let's see what those other two dice land on. Let's try to push on that right side. Well, we got a two, it might flip over. Well, looked like it was going to flip over to a six, but I mean, I'm fine with a two. That ain't bad. Nice, we got a three on that gold dice. All right, well, that's not bad, not bad at all. The majority of those dice landing on some fabulous numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all of that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we've made from a $10 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely remarkable. I ended up winning $12,652,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 36 and in total, I ended up winning $455,472,000 from a $10 million buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind-blowing. I was not expecting a massive win like that today. That is amazing. And on top of that, we won 102 ounces of gold, and all the gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 21. And in total, I ended up winning 2,142 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like 1,830. So that means we got an extra $3,919,860 in gold today. That is exceptional. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video... That will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe and visit my channel and watch older videos, you can click that button up top there. So anyhow, we'll see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.